Currently we have two operating hotels. Um, our first property opened in December 2009 in uh, Whitefield in Bangalore. Uh, it's a 95 bedroom property with a all day dining restaurant, bar, Costa Coffee counter um, and a facility for banqueting for up to 150 people. Um, our second property opened in Delhi um, uh, with 143 bedrooms in um, the July of 2011. Um, and uh, that too has a uh, meeting and banqueting facility. Going forward we have um, three further projects which are already on the ground. So we have a uh, property coming up in Pune uh, with 113 bedrooms which will be open um, mid next year, 2013. Um, and a, a 131 bedroom property in North Goa which um, is also under development and will be uh, open and ready uh, for operations in December of next year. Um, a third property in the pipeline is a property in Chennai, uh, which will be open in sometime in 2014. We will continue to invest in key strategic locations, you know, um, markets such as the Mumbai's, um, you know, further properties and opportunities in NCR and other tier one key strategic leisure destinations, um, uh, pilgrimage destinations, key industrial cities, etc. will still be focus areas for us for potential investment. But also going forward, we now want to be able to expand our expertise and enter into uh, agreements to operate third party assets. Uh, under management agreements. The less than structured approach to property, property acquisition, you know, planning, um, licensing, you know, um, and actually physically getting from, you know, seeing a location to getting a hotel there are huge challenges. I think the second challenge is that what will naturally happen in any developing um, economy is that supply and demand will rarely be in line with each other. So there will be odd markets, actually there will be odd micro markets where demand and supply stay nicely with each other, but actually the vast majority will be that you know, demand is way ahead of supply or supply is way ahead of demand.